Good morning, Flagler County. I'm Rich Carroll. You're listening to Flagler's Morning News on Monday, February 21st. And this local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow you. Palm Coast residents will be paying more for their trash service for the next year. The city extended its contract with WastePro that will cost residents nearly $10 more a month. Mayor David Alfin isn't thrilled, but says they had little choice. As one of my fellow councilmen said, uh, they kind of had us by the, I think the way he said it was by the trote. So we had little room to negotiate for this one year period because that is the amount of time it takes to reissue an RFP properly and make sure that we are able to attract the best and the biggest vendors that can take care of our waste pickup at a rate that's acceptable to our residents. Alfin tells WNZF that he hopes this time the request for proposal or RFP process brings about more competition. I was disappointed that our original RFP did not attract some of the larger vendors of waste pickup services throughout the state and throughout the region. We are focused on making sure that those folks do show up at the table this time so we really have a good competition. City Manager Denise Bevan talks more about the RFP process. It's open to the bidders. Now what we've done looking back is learning from those potential bidders on okay, right now we're in a supply chain concern. There's a difference of opinion about contract duration. What does that mean to you as a hauler? So we've been able to consolidate that input and arrive at a stronger and more effective RFP process. While WastePro may submit a bid, Alfin has said they're going to have to come down in price and that the current rate won't be a starting point for any negotiations going forward. A new car wash is one step closer to opening in Palm Coast. Take 5 Express Car Wash received approval from the planning board to open on a one-acre plot in the shops of Palm Coast Shopping Center at Beltair Boulevard and State Road 100. The special exception passed in a vote 6 to 1. Planning board member Sandra Shank cast the sole no vote. Sometimes during lunch especially, the adjacent businesses already have extensive vehicles that are stacked in a driveway. So I'm just concerned about the overall safety of that. I understand that the traffic engineer looked at the traffic flow, but it wasn't considering a business like this. Ray Tyner, the city's planning director, says they've worked with the three-lane car wash to ensure stacking won't be a problem. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Amy Cherry. Palm Coast's new city manager isn't new to the job. Interim city manager Denise Bevan now has the job on a permanent basis. Bevan says as she was in the interim role, she always looked ahead. From the beginning of stewarding the organization forward, I always was looking forward to the future. And along that journey, exploring collaborations, building relationships in our city council, looking at community opportunities and that synergy, and that really pivoted my decision into enjoying the appointment and the trust and the support from city council and staff. But taking the job permanently wasn't something she wanted initially. That changed over time. I knew professionally that I was serving the citizens of Palm Coast and serving them to the best of my ability. Work along these great leaders and, of course, our city council. I can't wait to see what the next 15 years looks like. Bevan has been with the city for the last 15 years. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Rich Patchke. Palm Coast will host its first ever 5K to honor first responders. The Tunnel to Towers Foundation established in memory of fallen 9-11 firefighter Stephen Siller, whose mission is to honor and support first responders and the military, is announcing plans to hold its first annual Tunnel to Towers 5K run and walk in Palm Coast on March 14th of this year. Patrick Apollonia is the multimedia associate for Palm Coast which helps with first responders, wounded warriors, people that have served their family members. And they have these run throughout the country. We're one of, I believe, 70 different locations. They had the first one in 2001, so this will actually be the 21st year that they've had it right after 9-11. The Palm Coast 5K Run and Walk is the latest of more than 70 events in a national series of 5K and tower climbs held all around the United States in support of the Tunnel to Towers Foundation. To register, check out Palm Coast at T2T.org. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson.
Ladies, do you know how to protect yourselves? You do if you are taking or you have taken the Flagler County Sheriff's Department's three-class course on self-protection. Commander Michael Lutz said on a recent episode of the Flagler Voice that they've been teaching the class for about 14 years and numerous women have been through it. He said that the first class is about the numbers of the women who become victims simply because they're not paying attention. We need, especially the ladies, because they're targets, to be aware of their surroundings and look around you, get the cell phone out of your face, look, be aware, so you're not put in that position. Lutz said the classes give women ways to protect themselves, and they sometimes meet victims' advocates. He said that the second class teaches how to fight back. It's the third class of the three that interests most women. We put mats on the floor, we put deputies in a padded suit, and you get to beat the crap out of it. Lutz said that it's the only time you can beat up on a cop and get away with it. Listen to the Flagler Voice on WNZF on Saturday mornings at 8.30 and on the Flagler Radio app anytime. Tomorrow, Commander Michael Lutz talks about active assailants. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.